Endeavor support companies to set up inclusive business models in developing countries. The idea of inclusive business is to include people in poverty into value chains, either as a consumer or a producer. In our work we've seen a lot of business models that have been created at a Western European desk um, by brilliant people but that do not consider the needs and wants of the people on the ground in developing countries and um, most of them fail. To understand the market and to set up business models that really work in a context of poverty we have to go to the countries, we have to talk to the people and not only do interviews or um, market surveys but also use interactive methods, participatory methods to get all the implicit information that in the end helps us to make the business model work. The mission in Madagascar, uh, we were there to uh, support the German company to set up a kiosk, solar kiosk businesses in Madagascar. And um, yeah, why? Because Madagascar, in the rural Madagascar, there is only 6% of the people in the rural area who have electricity. And of course, that is a uh, business case to help them to have charging their phone, to have charging their batteries, to have light. That is the first idea. A solar kiosk is a small shop powered by solar energy, where people can charge their batteries, phones and solar lanterns. In addition to that, there can be a cyber cafe and a public phone. The first steps that we took in our market research for this solar energy kiosk project were very traditional. We did research on the internet, we talked to experts and we also held a stakeholders workshop. All in all, we had a pretty good idea how the Malagasy energy market worked before we went to Madagascar, but of course we didn't know the details. We had always a partner that helped us introduce us into these villages. So that sometimes it was UNICEF, sometimes it was the we went directly to the mayor of the village or we had some help from other NGOs. Especially for me as a Vaza, a white woman, it was important to get local support. Of course, I went with my colleague Safi, um, who is from Madagascar, but for the focus group we needed some more personnel to moderate and facilitate the discussions. Therefore, we recruited two Malagashi sociology students that helped us with the focus groups. We will use interactive method methods because there is 60% of analphabetism in Madagascar and that's why we, were, we use a lot of cards and graphics. People had to show their, their, their daily life, the course of their day, daily life with cards and then we have a discussion about it. Also, they have to show us, show us uh, how they, what kind of energy they use with graphics. One of our big questions was how much do people spend on energy? If we would have asked that question, nobody could have answered it correctly because people do not pay their energy bill once a month, but they go every day to the shop and buy candles or batteries. We, we know from the beginning that some information will be a little bit tricky to get them some, some information about money issues, for example. Because people are not really open to say how much money do they earn, do they gain every month. So that's why we had these uh, focus groups, these small groups, discussions, because we, are, we were stranger there in Madagascar, in this small village. So we, we were just there to moderate them, to moderate this group, to facilitate the discussion uh, 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 within the group so that they could speak to one another. As a result of our work, we brought back a lot of data and protocols that help us to answer the questions we had. And we met, also met a lot of people, representatives from businesses that can help us to set up the solar kiosk business in Madagascar. 
plus we found some really good locations that can be locations for the pilot kiosks and of course we also had a lot of fun and really enjoyed the work in Madagascar. We at Endeavour are experts for market research in developing countries. So if you are planning to set up an inclusive business model, contact us and we would love to discuss your ideas with you and support you to set up your business.